Well, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, Jeff. Thanks for having me back. Uh, how's the con going for you? You know, Toronto is always great in general as a city. Um, so the convention itself, I mean, this is Canada's version of our San Diego. So it's nice to see the huge turnout here. People have been cooped up for quite a few years pretty much up here for something like this. And it's glad that we were able to get up here and uh, not only see the fans here who we always love, but it's also, you know, tell them that the new movie Clerks 3 is coming out. So uh, you've, you've, you've jumped into the role uh, of Dante a few times since the first film, but how has Dante changed from, from then to now? Oh, wow. Well, we definitely uh, have gotten older. Uh, we've definitely gotten uh, more mature in the sense of, you know, life responsibilities. Now, as we last left off these two characters in Clerks 2, uh, Dante had a baby on the way. Uh, they decided him and Randall and their silent partners, Jay and Silent Bob, to buy the quick stop and own it themselves and reopen it. Uh, so you're seeing a good slice of where they are today. They're now, you know, 15 years later, where they are, what's this snapshot of where these characters are. I think the time breaks that we've built into these things have been perfect for people to go, oh yeah, whatever happened to those guys? Uh, what's, how's, how's been working with Kevin uh, over the years? How, how's he changed as a filmmaker and how's, as far as working with you as an actor? What's really great, um, him as a filmmaker, he's, he's evolved. He knows great technique now in the sense of shooting things. He still keeps it incredibly simple because that's what it is. The stars of his, uh, stars of his movies are usually his scripts. His scripts are the amazing pieces to work with and we get to, to work and, and, and get them out there for the people. And then as far as uh, being a director with us, I mean, he's trust us. We've been with these characters over 28, almost 30 years now. He trusts that we know them well, which we do. So in the process of rehearsing this third movie, he gave us more uh, leeway as to put, you know, putting in some suggestions of either a dialogue here, or a bit of uh, some sort of, you know, funny physical bit there kind of thing, which was a lot of fun. It, it this one out of all of them feels the most collaborative. Uh, I, I, when I spoke with you last a few years ago, there was you were toying around with the idea of, of a Mallrats series. I know that th I think that kind of fell uh, by the wayside. A any have you heard about maybe that happening at any point? So the series part of it probably won't happen with Mallrats. Uh, with the success, hopefully that happens with this Clerks Three. We do have producers waiting in the wings to probably green light a Mallrats Two sequel, an actual movie sequel. Uh, Kevin has pretty much a spec script ready to go. Uh, would love to be a part of that as well. Obviously, I played Gil Hicks in the original Mallrats. It'd be nice to see where the, those cats are at in this universe that we call the Viewisk universe. I think it's something that if the fans will love this movie coming out this September of Clerks 3, I think they'll really enjoy what he has in mind for a Mallrats. Uh, Gil is from, uh, went to Canisius College in my hometown of Buffalo, New York. So That's right, that's right. Uh, so what's, what's up for next view? Oh, the next for me. Uh, you know, we're going to do uh, do this push. I'm probably going to hit a couple of the cities that Kevin is doing on the convenience tour, which uh, two, day, two of the nights are here in Toronto. I think I'll come up for that just because I love the city of Toronto in general and Canada. Uh, and so from there, I have two other films that uh, I'll probably be working on the beginning of next year. Uh, we'll talk more about that probably uh, as the year gets closer. Well, appreciate it. Thank you very much and good luck. You're welcome. Thank you.